Good evening, y'all, and welcome back to Apron Strings. Sure am glad to have all of you here, and I've got a whole bunch of new people that just tickles me to death. I'm so glad that the channel's growing, and I'm glad y'all like good old Southern cooking. And come to visit. Hope you come back real often, and if you're watching and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And hit the little bell so that they'll notify you when I put up a new video. And give me a thumbs up. Um, if you like the food and you like the video, I appreciate that a whole bunch. I've uh, been dilly dallying around today. I've cleaned in the backyard a little bit. Y'all, my backyard's a mess. I might run out there with the camera and just show you why I keep saying that. But a little at a time, I'm getting it cleaned up. We have white oak trees and they make big leaves. And oh man, we've got a backyard, I told y'all, just full of big old dead leaves. And I've already raked some. But anyway, I've been out there working some this morning and adding extra dirt to my raised beds and I went out there and looked and there were the hens up there dust bathing in my beds. But we're going to get them fenced off where they can't get over there to the garden and we'll all be happy. Today I'm going to walk back down memory lane and my recipe box. I was looking to cook something that would be a dessert but that I haven't cooked in a long time. I married in 1970, and I had a cousin that had married a little bit before we did, a couple of three years, I don't know, Linda. And she got me hooked on a cake way back then called Socket To Me Cake. And you know what? I haven't made that cake in years. Some of y'all might have. You might have heard of it. You might have used to made it. You might have never made it, but it's good. And it starts out with a boxed cake mix, and then you add some stuff to it. And it's the way you layer it in the pan that makes it special. And we're going to get over to the KitchenAid and get it going and get it in my bunt pan and it'll take it about an hour to cook. And I like it because it's not syrupy sweet, but it's a little bite of a dessert if you want something after your meal or with your coffee or tea. Now I'm going to get my um, bunt pan sprayed with some Baker's Joy, so let me grab that out of this pantry and get my pan ready so we can put it all in there when I get through with the mixer. Just one minute. That wasn't bad, was it? That was a quick minute. Want to be sure everything's coated, especially around the hole part up there. Because I don't want it to stick. I'd rather overspray it than underspray it. Okay, I'm going to move y'all over to the KitchenAid and we're going to mix the cake up and then we'll come back to the butcher block to get it all layered in the pan right. And okay, I'm going to open up my cake mix and get it in there. And I'm just using a Duncan Hines Classic uh, Yellow Cake Mix. They were on sale here a while back. And although most of the time I cook from scratch, this time I decided that I would use a mix. Let me get some scissors. There's a few good cakes that's made from a cake mix. Okay, now into the cake mix we're going to add um, a half of a cup of sugar. And you know what? I forgot to get my uh, sour cream. So let me turn the camera off and run over to the refrigerator, the ice box, and get some sour cream, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to mix up my sugar and cake mix a little bit. And I'm going to add in one cup of oil. And I'm just using vegetable oil. And we're going to need four eggs. And I'm going to do them two at a time. I normally do them one at a time, but I'll do them two at a time. Okay, let me add two more.
Okay, and into that I'm going to add one cup of sour cream. Mix it a little bit and then I'm going to scrape the sides to be sure that it's all um, scraped up from the bottom and that's important step because you don't want any dry cake mix in the bottom when you start putting it in your pan. Now if y'all want a from scratch cake you can't beat my mama's millionaire pound cake and it's one of my most viewed recipes so if you haven't seen it you need to go watch that one. I always double check myself on my recipe so it's cake mix, sour cream, egg, sugar, oil, and then the stuff that we put in the middle. So I'm going to get the camera moved back and we'll get on with our show. I was scraping that beater off. I could almost hear my kids say, Mom, don't get it all. Mom, please don't get it all. Leave us a little bit. And I would, and it didn't kill them. They like to lick the beaters, and I always did too. I was going to mix this up with this. I guess I'll put my hand over it for a lid and still do it that way. This is my brown sugar and cinnamon and pecans. You just want it all mixed up good because that's what you're going to put for your layers to give it your flavors. Okay, I'm going to put half of my cake mix in this pan. This is a cake that's easy enough that your young homemakers can make. I think that's about half. And now, get me a spoon. Sure, I've got that brown sugar. I don't want a big bite of cinnamon. I like it to be sweet cinnamon. So this is brown sugar, cinnamon, and chopped pecans. And I'll have the recipe card where I always do for y'all to look. And what you do is you just sprinkle this in this middle here. And I'll show y'all when I get it done what it looks like in the pan before I hide it. You want to try to cover all of it, all of it up, because that's where that's what's going to give you your your stuff in the middle. It makes it good. Okay, I did half the cake mix, and now I've covered all of that with the brown sugar, cinnamon, and pecans. You don't like pecans? Put walnuts, and if you don't like that, leave it out. I don't know why you couldn't put like some chopped cherries or something, but that this is a cinnamon thing. Okay. So let me get my bowl scraped where to pour easy. And then you don't want to disturb it. You just want to top it with some more dough. And then gently spread that around where you've got all that middle layer there hidden. This is a good cake to take to a, a gathering. And I never, when I used to make it or make it for a home interior or a Tupperware party I was having, I didn't hardly have any left. Everybody liked it. And what was left, they won't take a piece home with them. And I always did. I like, to, I like for people to leave my house with a little prize. That makes them want to come back. My husband makes fun of me about my little gifts. Well, I'm doing what I told y'all not to. I got into my my middle a little bit. But it'll still be good. Now I'm not going to glaze mine, but you can make a thin, um, sometimes we would glaze it and sometimes we wouldn't with a thin powdered sugar and a little bit of milk to make a glaze, but I don't want it real sweet so I'm not going to add the glaze to the top. Okay, let me get my hands clean and I'll show you this and then I'm going to get it in the oven.
Yeah, you peeking your head around to see if I licked that finger, and I did. Y'all caught me red-handed. Okay, see? Now I've got it pretty well hidden. I'm going to get it in a 350 degree oven for about one hour. Then we'll let it cool a little bit and get it on a plate and I'm going to cut it. That's what I'm going to have because I really had not eaten a meal since breakfast and I'm hungry and it's late in the evening. So let me get, when the oven gets hot, I'll get it in there and then I'll bring y'all back in a little bit and uh, we'll see what it looks like. Okay, the cake cooked about 55 minutes and it's done as you can see and I'm fixing to get it on my cake plate and let it cool and then I'll bring y'all back and I'll cut it and taste of it. Y'all just look at that. See the cinnamon and brown sugar that's in that middle layer? It's not a real tall cake as you can see but it, I remember how much I loved it so I'm gonna let it cool enough that when I slice it I don't mess it up and I'll taste of it and show y'all what it looks like with that pretty little center down the middle of it. Y'all see this cake plate? And you'll see the top in a minute. I had Pampered Chef parties. No, when Pampered Chef. It was Prince's House Crystal parties back when my son was two or three years old. And he is 50. And I, if you had a party with so much money and three bookings, you could get a cake plate. Well, I had enough parties that I got three of them. And I put two up, one for each of my kids when they married. Plus, I had a fourth one and got one for my aunt who was always giving me stuff. So I got her a cake plate because she didn't do parties. I liked having parties and having people over. But anyway, I really like the free stuff. That's good. Anyhow, that's my princess house uh, cake plate. So I'll be back in a minute and show y'all what it looks like cooked. I've got the lid on it, but it's fogging up because it's a little bit uh, warm still, but I was just going to show y'all the cake plate. I just love it. I've cut some of the cake and I wanted y'all to see it up close where the, the pretty part shows. Isn't that neat? I love it. Now we'll taste of it. And here's the cake plate where I cut it. It's pretty. I want to buy it with uh, some of the cinnamon and brown sugar in it, so I'm going to cut me a piece where I can get some of that. Mm. The cake is so light and fluffy. That's a good easy one for you to serve at your next gathering. That's delicious. I'm going to make me a cup of hot tea and I'm going to sit down and have me some cake. I hope y'all use this recipe. It's kind of like almost an antique recipe, isn't it, from 1970? I didn't search to see when it was first made, but that's when I first had it. So, now y'all got another good pound cake recipe to make. Now you could make any kind of, I bet a caramel drizzle would be really good on that. But that would just add too much sweet for me y'all could try it with that it'd be good you know that one that you boil and put on um, my fig cake and some chocolate cake sometimes you'll poke coals and it's kind of caramely that would be good on this one just to have it to drizzle on if you wanted it well y'all I guess I better get on with fixing something for supper Troy will be in here hungry in a minute and he did a little job today. He's feeling pretty good today, so he was able to get out and do something, and I'm thankful. So I'm going to come up with something for supper that'll be good, and I'm going to get over there and edit this video where y'all can watch it and make you a sock it to me cake. The good Lord bless and keep y'all. Don't forget, he's the one all the blessings come from. All the protection, whatever we need, he's got it in his storehouse. He just wants us to ask for it and believe him for it. Y'all take care. Stay safe. Watch your back. Be very careful in this world we live in now. As things get worse and money gets tight and wages don't go up and the price of stuff does, crime's going to increase. Don't be a target. Be smart. Be wise. Watch your surroundings and trust the good Lord to take care of you. I'll see y'all in a day or two.